Hello, and welcome to Florida Focus. My name is Ari Angelo. And I'm João Victor Pina. Most people in the Tampa area have heard of or been to the night parade. But do they actually know who the crew of Santiago is and why they have this parade? Reporter Justin Michael takes us behind the scenes of the night parade. I'm here in Ybor City where hundreds of people are gathering to watch the crew of Santiago light up the night. The crew of Santiago has been hosting the night parade since 1974. This is their 50th year since then. So I was curious to know, who are these people dressed as kings and queens? I spoke with Parade Chairman Joe Perino to learn more about their mission. You know, we, we try to make sure that we are always promoting the Latin heritage of Ybor City. You know, our Education Foundation is like our big push that we do. That's, that's the number one thing that, that we do all year long. The Education Foundation is a program the crew started to support Latin American students through college. The crew relies on donations to fund the scholarships and events like the parade raise awareness. Perino tells me they have awarded students all over the Bay Area. Since 1994, we've donated uh, over $5 million in scholarships to the University of Tampa, University of South Florida, and HCC. We currently have 106 kids on scholarship at this time. The crew of Santiago will return in next year's parade. In Tampa, I'm Justin Michael reporting for Florida Focus. USF is hosting a new art exhibit featuring works from 50 years ago. Organized at the USF Contemporary Art Museum, the Offset exhibit features sculptures and prints by the late graphic artist Robert Rauschenberg in collaboration with the former College of Arts Dean Donald Saff. The curator, Mark Fredericks, says art that shows Rauschenberg's legacy will be included. We're also interspersing a few other artworks from other artists that uh, are influenced by Rauschenberg or uh, have a similar style. The free exhibit has over 40 works displayed. It will be open through March 2nd. This has been a Florida Focus News Break. Thanks for watching our show. We'll see you back here tomorrow.